Hey, what's going on YouTube? The software that I'm showing you today is called Ant Movie Catalog. And what this software lets you do is it lets you catalog all of the videos, DVDs, Blu-rays that you have in your personal movie collection and create a nice little catalog for them. And you can get a bunch of information on your movies, as you can see on the right here. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let's go to a more uh, attractive view here. I'm going to go ahead and click this button. And so you can see it's got all my movies. This isn't all my movies, but it's a start. I have a lot of movies. And the reason I started using this piece of software is because there's a few cases where I'd go to the store and I would either think I had a movie already and not buy it or think I didn't have a movie and buy it. And then I get home and I either end up with no movie at all or I end up with multiple copies of a movie. So it just gets kind of annoying once that happens a few times and so I decided uh, I'm not gonna let that happen anymore I'm gonna go ahead and start cataloging my movies and Ant Movie Catalog is free you don't need to sign up for anything uh, I'll put the link in the description for the home page as well as the link for the download for it and it's really easy to do I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you add movies uh, with a real quick demonstration here so we have this button here and you can also do this through the menus um, you can do, you know, file, you can do new, entirely new catalog if you want to. You can just add individual movies, etc., etc. So I'm just going to use the buttons that are in the toolbar here. I'm going to go ahead and hit add. And then what you can do is you can start typing all this info in. If you want to do this manually, say you have home movies that you want to do this for, this is a great option to do this. Um, <clears throat> if you're adding a movie that you bought at the store, more than more often than not, you're going to be able to find the info on the internet through IMDb or another website. So there's this button right here called Get Information. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have that selected. Go to From Internet Using a Script. And this brings up the scripting window. And Movie Catalog comes with uh, several scripts already loaded into it so you don't have to worry about writing scripts or messing with any code or anything like that and the one that I use uh, every time is IMDB because it's pretty rare that a movie's not on IMDB so let's go ahead and hit run once we've selected it the movie I want to add is Captain America hit OK and you can see it's getting all the info and it pulls up a bunch of matches. The one I want to add is this one. Select OK. You see it's downloading the info. And then this window pops up. The left column is what was there previously, which was nothing. And the right hand column is the info that it's going to populate in there from IMDb. So in my case, I don't care what the rating was. I'm going to uncheck that. I don't care what the translated title is either. So I'll uncheck that. And I'll go ahead and uh, leave everything else on there, since that's just cool info to have. And then another nice thing that IMDb does is it also pulls the thumbnail for the movie from the IMDb page. So if I click on here, you can see it's got a little thumbnail, and it's going to populate my grid view that I had earlier with this thumbnail. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Save, and then I close that out, and now you can see the box that was selected now shows Captain America and it's filled in all the information over here so it's pretty nice uh, one of the other things you can do you can see I have this uh, movie here that's got a, a smaller picture and I'm gonna right click on that one and get information from the internet using a script and you can see over here I didn't use IMDB for this one which is why it's kind of a different picture. So if that happens for some reason IMDB didn't have your movie, you had to use one of these other scripts, but you don't like the images that it pulls, there's another script here called Movie Goods. So I'm going to select on that one. And you can see in the description it imports movie posters. So hit run. Hit OK. Okay, this is the 1984 Beverly Hills Cop. 
And so now we're given a few options here. So if you want to see what these look like, you just select on it, hit view page, and it'll bring up your browser and it'll show you what that image looks like. That's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and use that image. So I'll minimize this, select that again, hit OK. You see it's downloading the image now. And you can see nothing is going to change. New value is blank for all of these except for the picture. So if I click here, I can see what the old picture is. And then if I click here, I can see what the new picture is going to be, which is a much bigger picture. So I hit save, close, and just like that, it applied the picture automatically for me. I didn't have to do anything other than click a few buttons. So pretty nice, easy to use, uh, fairly user friendly. Another cool thing that it lets you do is it lets you track uh, loans that you've given out to your friends who like to borrow movies. And that's done through this little tab here called loans. See, I've just made two fictitious borrowers over here. And they've checked out the following movies, and you can see over here, it says which movie is loaned to which person. And it's it's easy to do this as well. If I want to create a new person, just go to Add Borrower, type in a name, and then just start highlighting movies for them. Check out, and just like that, it shows you how many movies they have borrowed from you what movies they have and then if you go over here again you can just scroll through your movies and it will show you who has them so I'm going to close that out one other cool thing I want to show you is the statistics you can get all sorts of statistics from your movies um, who directed all your movies um, which ones have subtitles what languages they're in etc etc so Pretty cool stuff. Um, if you're like me, I like cataloging stuff. I like having all this info, all this metadata tied to my stuff. And so this is pretty cool. And this makes it uh, pleasant to sort through your list and see what movies you have. You can group movies by all the information that's on there. You can group them by this. So say I wanted to group them by, uh, let's go with category. You do that and you can see now they're grouped by genre so I have action comedy horror and if something gets grouped kind of weird you can just go ahead and over here you can change the category yourself by typing it in or by picking from the drop down and that's pretty much it um, again this is ant movie catalog it is free, as I said. No need to sign up for anything. I'll put the download links in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, feel free to leave me a message in the description, uh, in the comment section down below the video, or send me a message through my homepage or here on my YouTube channel. Until next time, enjoy using Ant Movie Catalog to sort your movies out, and take care.